That means this motion, if I denote this motion is W, then this is a function not only x and t, and I am using the coordinate, this is x. So now the problem is not same as what we learned over. This is the displacement, the x depends only single parameter time. And now we have this displacement depends not only time, but also in space. Okay. This is a very general and interesting problem. When I clap, when I excite the air, and you can hear sound, this guy can hear sound, and also you can hear sound, and you can hear sound. Therefore, what I am propagating now depends not only time, but also space. Well, this is very classical, famous problem in all the days by physicists. But now this is a very important and attractive problem for many engineers because it does have many applications. Okay, what application? Maybe you hear that uh, some of the Korean TV manufacturing company make a speaker that is invisible. Okay, TV, the, the, the TV, the, the first requirement of a TV is to see good picture, right? Good picture. I don't know whether this is a good picture, but uh, to see a good picture. What is the second priority? The good sound. Right? Normally we use the speaker system over here, but often the, the look of speaker, the speakers are not very attractive. So one company use this frame as a speaker. Okay. How to do? They design some actuator that can properly vibrate the rim of TV set. They propagate, they excite the air, and then it produces a sound into space. This is good. And that is pretty much associated with what we are learning over here. Say, I have a single degree of freedom system distributed along this rim by modeling the, this, this, this rim as the superposition of a many single degree of freedom system, then we can understand what's going on over here by using this distributed system. How to understand this distributed system is based on this single degree of freedom system. Okay? So, as an example of this distributed system, we pick up the simplest case, that is a string. Okay. What is the definition of a string? What is the definition of a string? Some continuum of material. That is string. This is a string. This is a string, right? Tension. Okay, the keyword, one keyword is tension. The string is the special continuum that can only transport the tension. It cannot transport bending. I have a l less hair, so I cannot take it out. But suppose you have, you have uh, your hair, 
And uh, suppose you are, you are going to bend. You don't need any force, right? But that depends on wavelength. If you have, if if you if you have a very small wavelength, like a micron wavelength, then you might need some bending force. So in, in, in general, in, in, in the wavelengths we, we can we can imagine like order of a centimeter and more than that, we don't need we don't need to use a moment to bend our hair. That is true. But the definition is the continuum that can only transport tension. Okay? So we look at small element to apply the Newton's second law. Right? We want to see how the string behaves. The string is continuous. So what we did, we look at the small element dx. And see what kind of force is acting over here. In fact, the dt can be expressed as dt dx dx. That is the force acting on this small element. This force has to be balanced by mass. In this case, mass is low L. Low L is the, uh, what is it? Mass per unit length, and dx, or ds, okay? Also, you have to, and times dw, if, if I use dx dt scale, that is the acceleration. In this direction. And of course there is an acceleration in this direction too, but assuming that the motion in x direction is very small compared with the motion in this direction, w direction, right? Suppose you have a string, you have a hair like this, and then suppose you have a small insect dancing in your hair, and the displacement of your hair and this direction is dominating compared with the displacement in this direction. So, equation of motion <coughs> using this was The C S square is in the text they use the low L is low times L. This equation is valid when we have when we have a cross section is constant along X axis and T is the tension, right? Okay, that's the governing equation. This is interesting. And this is the governing equation for string. The difference is, we have this over here. Right? We don't have this. And what about, the, what about the, this one? What about this one? This is the restoring force. So what is the restoring force for the string? Which means that when I, what is the restoring force means? The force required to pull back 